Broken down and don't have no walls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try one more time. Try one more time. Whoever had no, no temperance over their action, <clears throat> over what they think, over what they say. Over how they handle somebody. Jesus. Come on now. Whoever is just reckless. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Get involved with anything and anybody. Go ahead, go ahead. Mess us up. Whoever has no control over them. Mm -hmm. And I like that right there because see, you're right. controlling other folks' guys, right? Well, <laughs> Whoever has no control over their own Jesus, help us spirit, spirit. Mm -hmm. is like a city with walls that are broken down. You're, okay, now let's help you. Let me help you out now. Look at the metaphor. Just yes. look at the whole yes. metaphor. Look at the metaphor. Solomon, who's the king, wrote it. So you know what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. City walls. Wadi up for defenses. Mm -hmm. But, 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 let's, let's look at the whole context now. Walls were designed to keep stuff out and to keep stuff in. Mm -hmm. A person that ain't got control over their own spirit. Anything comes out of the mouth of their walls. <laughs> but anything comes out of the walls of their mouth. Before you, before you can catch it, it's out. And you know when you say, I, I can't hold nothing, I can't. <laughs> I just got to say this. When it, when it get on me, I'm going to let it out. The text says, Whoever has no control, <laughs> whoever means whoever. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. The potentate. Mm -hmm. The pope. Mm -hmm. The panacea, whatever you want to call yourself. Mm -hmm. If you don't have control over your spirit, wait. City that has walls broken down. That means anything comes out and anything comes in. It's kind of deep. You would think, well, if the walls are for defense mechanisms, it's designed for me to keep things from getting in that are not supposed to be in. But sometimes you need walls to insulate you from yourself. Wow. Now, I don't know who this is for. Sometimes we need deliverance from us. I'm talking about me. I need, I, Lord, save me from me. Because sometimes it ain't the devil, it's me. That's right. That's right. That's true. That is so true. Yes. Y'all don't want to be honest now. It, it, so it, ain't, it, ain't, it, is not, it ain't the devil. I, I got control. I, I, I done defeated the devil a long time ago. I'm going to do that because I want to. That's true. I ain't being tricked. I ain't being coerced. I'm going to get that. That's true, that's true. See, y'all don't like that. Oh, I was just tricked by the devil. Oh, I was just tricked by the devil. Oh, I was just tricked by the devil. And he just came in like a flood. No, he didn't. You just got no water. That's right. He didn't come in like no flood. You didn't have no water. No, no, no. Go ahead, Bishop. That's right. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. The text is. The test is clear. If you don't have any control over your spirit. <laughs> Come on now. Right on your Leave down the Crenshaw alone. Amen. Oh, 
in power. Bind up no Lord, bind me up. <laughs> help me, Lord. Help me. Lord. Lord, bind me. Lord, don't bind him. I need bind. Everybody else loose, bind me. <laughs> you need control over your own spirit. That's so true. That's so true. Come on, y'all. We got all this Holy Spirit. We got all this Holy Ghost. We got all this joy. And we don't even have control enough to make ourselves like people who don't like us. Oh, come on now. That's just all right. That's just all right there. You got power. Like my father said, you got the power to shake the grave. Oh, you gonna come out the grave. You oh when the rapture come, you go, oh, you got rapture power. But you ain't got power to like people that don't like you. I want y'all, come on now. See, come on, come on. We, we, we love all this deep theological truth. But the basic stuff. Basic. 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 I'm writing a paper, and I got I to get back to the library tonight and finish this paper. And it's, the theme of the paper is undeserved suffering and the suffering of the innocent. Hybrid theodicy. And all it is is trying to understand if God is inherently good, how does evil come into the, cre in the, the equation when God has created everything and said it is good? <laughs> well, if you're smart and say, well, it came in from the fall, then I got to attach the fall to God's sovereignty. <laughs> because in his sovereignty, right. through his omniscience, yes. he knew it was going to fall. Because right. Revelation says, yeah. Before the foundation of the world, he provided a lamb. So if he provides a lamb before the fall, then God has to have something to do with evil. But how can God have something to do with evil when intrinsically all he is is good? So I'm trying to understand when you do all this good stuff, how bad stuff happened to you? Mm. Why does God say, pray for your friends who talk about you when you never talked about them? My God. Help us. Okay, I'm going to close on this because you're all looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. Go, go to Job chapter 1. Yeah. Go, 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 go to Job chapter 1. And, 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 and classy, I'm doing the paper on, on one verse. Believe me, I'm doing it on, 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 on this one little verse right here. Job chapter 1, verse number 1. It said, there was once a man in the uh -huh. land of us. Yes, it should be the land of ours. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Whose name was Job. Yes. Now watch this, watch this. Watch, watch this, my kid. Watch, 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 watch this other side. Watch it. That man was blameless, upright, Fear God and turn away from me. <laughs> that man, blameless, mm -hmm. upright, fear God, mm -hmm. and eschew, your text would say eschew, mm -hmm. fear God, stay away from, turn from evil. Mm -hmm. Blameless. Meaning that no one could spot his life. All right. And even his children's behavior was of such, because they was partying. They were partying. Oh, yeah, they were partying. Really? Yeah. You know what he did for his children? Y'all party, no problem. When the party's over, I'm a sacrifice for each of y'all. Yes. 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 So God will charge it to me and not y'all. Mm -hmm. He was good. He was good. <laughs> He, he, he was a parent that when the party ended, mm -hmm. said, don't worry, y'all be all right. Who all was over there? All y'all there? No problem. He get, he get sacrificed for all the kids. Read it. Mm -hmm. 
and send the sacrifice to God for on behalf of his children's yes. foolishness. Yes. Ah. yes sir. Lord, they don't love you like I do, but because me and you are like that, don't even look at them. Charge the sacrifice to me. Protect them because of me. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Ain't that what the text said? Yeah. All that, Ellen Scott, all that sacrificing, all that blameless, all that fear, all that turning from evil, yeah. and it's like God plays a master trick on him by allowing the Satan to bait him into a conversation. Wow. That's real deep, I think. Satan had access to God. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's what it says. Mm. Satan, why would God give a demon access? Because <laughs> God holy. Why would God even want to have a dialogue with him? Because he already knows what he's coming to say because he's omniscient. God said he's going to talk to me about Job. I already know he's going to ask me. I know what he's going to talk to me about. But I got some form. And God just plays with him. He says, you know, I've been going the same way. Why are you up here? Yeah, exactly. And that's the question sometimes bishops get him to ask some of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all are the same talk. <laughs> I'm serious. He's somebody he's going to say, you know what, let me ask you. Before I get started, why are y'all here? Are you here to trouble me before my time? Because read the text now. The Lord is in counsel mm -hmm. with the host of heaven. Yes. 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 Read it. Yes. Satan comes into the room yes. where they counsel it. They have an accession. Yes. And he don't say nothing to none of the rest of the day. He's speaking. <laughs> the Lord stops the meeting and says, where you, where you, where you coming? What's up? <laughs> like they talking. Read the text. It didn't say God was angry. It didn't say God was upset. God allowed him to come in and entertain. That's kind of deep. Think about it. God and the Satan is having conversation because what you think from a Christian perspective is once God kicked the devil out of heaven, which God did kick him out of heaven, Michael and his angels did, you think that God no longer has any more conversation with the Satan. I refute that. God gives us an example. If he can talk to the devil, why you can't? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, you get that wrong me now. <laughs> if God can take time and deal with someone he knows is his arch enemy wow. yes. and entertain him in a conversation Ollie. while you walking by your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to the barbecue. All right, I'm sick of you. Bishop, I can't go. Okay, you don't like that one? I'll give you another one. Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, had 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The devil. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to four. Every 12th person is the devil. Yeah. Yeah. He gives an example. If you got 12 folk in your life, one of them is an evil. Wow. You got more than 12 friends, you got a devil. The devil is evil. Because Jesus gives, gives an example of how many friends you ought to have. You ought to have an inner circle of three. You should have no more than three folk in all your business. But you got 5,000 on Facebook, so that's what you call it. Lord, I ain't got no help on it here today. Come on, we don't read the Bible. The Bible gives us the model and the motif. How to live our lives. If any person in this church can ever find three people in a lifetime that will love you unconditionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You a rich person. Yeah. But you ain't gonna find it. That's true. That's 
You ain't gonna find Jesus. He's a queen. That's it.
Because see, you're a public success, but you're a private failure. Uh -huh. yeah. See, in the private, you a mess. Yeah. But out here, you wonderful. Oh, yeah. oh you wonderful. Like, right now. Oh, right. oh, when we look at you, we, oh, we see Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> we see Jesus. Oh, we see Jesus. Oh, he, he's here now. He, oh, Jesus is everywhere. But when we go home with you, you are raggedy. Amen. No control over your thoughts. No control over your spirit. Do whatever you want to do. Say what you want to say. Unforgiving. You do stuff you want to be forgiven, but you don't want to give nobody else no forgiveness. Amen. Could you imagine if God held you? Wow. To the same standard you hold up. Yes. yes. Wow. If you held God, if God held you, he said, you know what? This is what I'm going to do, her. I'm going to hold you accountable like you hold everybody else accountable. Lord, help us. And, 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 and when you're unyielding, I'm going to be unyielding. Because I'm going to give you what you get back. No grace, I ain't gonna never give you none. Wow. Wow. Could you imagine how? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead, Bishop. Could you imagine how difficult your life would be? Be yeah. yeah. what you say. Wow. If God treated you the way you treat others. The way you treat other people. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine? I'm a cold release. Could you imagine if God had a way? See these big screens of me? Can you imagine? See, when I said this at our church, can you imagine if God had a way yes, Lord. where you could be sitting at church yeah. <laughs> and then a oh, light Don't do it. Put you to the top of your head and then a flash of your head. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What you can see was going on in your mind, in your mind. while you were in church. Wow. Wow. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, you and he's sitting in church and a light hitting right in his head, right here, and it flash up on the screen, and we see everything that's going on in his mind. You get shot. Some folks could be walking through the tulip just in the line. <laughs> Other folks, we drink it. <laughs> Some folks, you would see a picture of them in the bed just. <laughs> They have Bible study in the flesh, but they despise it in the bed. Could you imagine? Think about that. God puts up with all that. All of that. But you can't come in and prophesy. Build them up. Edify. You can tell them how bad they are. When, when you gonna tell them how good? I know that's right. I know I'm Jack. See, you ain't got to tell. You got to tell me laughing. You got to tell me. Go ahead. Go ahead with Bishop. Go ahead with Bishop. We all. We all jacked up. We all jacked up. Yes. 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 You know I'm telling the truth. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Yes. We all need somebody every now and then come to us, yes. not enable us, yes. but tell us, listen, you're going to be all right. Yes. You're going to come through this. Yes. Keep on fighting. Yes. I, know, I know you messed up, but keep on, keep on coming. God will turn around. Yes. 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 Well, again. <laughs> The heat. <laughs> no, you need some folk to edify you. Yes, yes, yes. Is that right? Yes. yes. Oh, that's how we feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know that's how we feel. Yes. 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 Let's get prayer partners right here today. If <laughs> you really can, just get in, get in groups of three, close on groups oh, tonight. We're glad our pastor's with us today. Yes, we're serving on the oh, oh, Praying for him. Yeah. God is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.